Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to day 13 of our return to Forgotten Favorites here in May of 2024. Forgotten Favorites, of course, are albums from recent times as well as from yesteryear that are forgotten by most or many, but favorites of ours. These unreleased, obscure gems or maybe just kind of underrated and forgotten little-known albums from some more known bands, right? I tend to, for these shows, I tend to go with the most extreme stuff and or extremely obscure that I possibly can uh, in hopes that turning all you guys watching onto some bands and albums that you've never heard of before that you may really, really like. So this particular one, this uh, album was released in 1972 uh, for Harvest Records. It is a band, I guess you can call this progressive rock, I guess, pretty much, psych, heavy psych, progressive rock, that sort of thing. The band is called Janus, J-A-N-U-S, and the album is called Gravedigger. Check that bad boy out, right? So I want to thank Mr. Ken Golden for turning me on to this, this band, this album. So this was uh, their only album released... At the time, I think they got back together and released another record like almost 30 years later, but uh, I have not heard that one. But this uh, this is their one only release from the 70s. There you go. <laughs> Interesting looking cover, right? So uh, let me tell you who is in the band here. Let's see, get a little bit more information about them. So again, uh, prog, hard rock, psych, that sort of thing. Uh, Bruno Lord and Derek Hyatt sharing lead vocals, Colin Orr on guitars and keyboards, Roy Yates on classical acoustic guitar, Mick Petterby on bass and backing vocals, and Keith Bonthrone drums, percussion, and backing vocals. Uh, and you got some other people who are helping out on this album as well with uh, additional things like uh, Hans Jürgen Fritz, of course, great prog keyboard player, shows up on keys on a couple tracks. You got uh, some backing vocalists here and string arrangements and things like that. But uh, yeah, and these guys, I believe, were they a British band? I don't remember exactly where they came, where they're from, or they maybe mixed nationalities here. I'm not quite sure. I know, I know this uh, album did fairly well in Germany um, and, and released on Harvest in Germany, but I don't know if they were a German band or not, German-English band. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, let's talk about the album itself because I don't know a hell of a lot about this band in general. This is a pretty obscure band. So uh, you've got five tracks on this album, starting off with Red Sun. Red Sun is about nine minutes long. You get the bookends of this album are the big epic. So you got like about nine minutes for the opening track, Red Sun, and the title track is uh, closing number, which is just about 21 minutes long. Both terrific. So Red Sun is big and heffy, heavy and riffy and dark. To me, to my ears, sounds like a cross between early Black Sabbath and uh, early Atomic Rooster. I think like the Death Walks Behind You album, without all the Hammond organ, obviously. Uh, really, really good album. Very cool vocals. It's got that kind of chilling, haunted kind of, uh, you know, dark sound like the, the early Sabbath, the early Atomic Rooster, that sort of thing. Uh, then you got Bubbles and What You're Trying to Do. On the next two tracks, that's very different. Both of those songs are very different. Bubbles is very much like a kind of like a late 60s psych song, kind of fun. Um, same thing with What You're Trying to Do. Cool guitar works and little bits of keys here and there, but then different vocal styles, but more. Definitely not as dark, a little bit more upbeat. And then for I Want to Scream, which is a short track just under three minutes long, that also is very much in that kind of Atomic Rooster Sabbath type of vein. Back to the heavier nature of the first track, Red Sun. That's very cool as well. I like that a lot. And then Gravedigger, like I mentioned, is the big, long epic to close out the album. And that totally changes gears once again. That's got this kind of like moody blues, Barclay James Harvest feel to it. It's definitely a little bit more lush and atmospheric. You've got some nice acoustic and classical guitar parts spread throughout that song. A little bit more keys on this one here, right? You got some here a little bit of Mellotron, some Hammond organ, that sort of thing. Nice vocal harmonies. Very very cool song. And uh, it's when you listen to this whole album, 
it's kind of it's almost schizophrenic in a way because from track to track the band is like doing totally different styles but it works for me because you get lots of different feels on here i like this a lot this is very a very cool rarity from the early 70s for those of you who like the more psychedelic and and heavier uh, realms of progressive rock where you call this proto proto prog or crossover prog or whatever you want to call this uh heavy psych prog i don't know whatever you call it very cool album gravedigger by janice Janus, Janus, however they say that. Go check it out. Of course, this is, uh, like I said, something pretty, pretty obscure. But if you go and uh, search for it on YouTube, you can listen to the whole thing and check it out for yourself and see what you think. Definitely worth uh, worth hearing. So uh, there you have it. My pick for today, Janus Gravedigger. Let us know if you've heard of this. Let us know what you think down in the comments below as well as your pick for today, your forgotten favorite of today. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another one. But tune in tonight. Of course, Hudson Valley Square is coming up at you tonight. We will be uh, reminiscing uh, over the from the last couple of weeks. Uh, most of us have been out to see... Uh, the Queensryche and Armored Saint shows and the uh, Uriah Heap and Saxon shows. We're going to kind of get together and talk about all of our experience at the various venues we've seen them at. Some of us have gone together. Some of us have seen them all separately. So we're going to kind of talk about our and review these concerts uh, tonight on Hudson Valley Square. So see you then. Till then, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as opposed to them. Please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we get the links to our Ko-Fi page, your channel donations, our merch page, and our cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. It's always greatly appreciated. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am Pete Pardo. Have a good Monday, everybody. Catch up with you later. Bye-bye.